Good morning, I'm Terry. Welcome to Fearless Faith. Appreciate you joining us. I want to continue our series on finishing strong in your morning cup of inspiration. Thanks for joining me. Last time I talked about how it's so easy as we age and get older, get into that comfort level and sometimes get a little bit lazy, don't feel like we need to rely on God as much and we're kind of self-sufficient. That is the beginning of a slippery slope. And I want to encourage you today not to allow that to happen for you. Another story that I found in 2 Chronicles, you may want to read it, the 25th chapter. Another king, King Amazah, he did somewhat of the same thing, except he was relying on his wealth. He hired 100,000 Israelites to help him fight his next battle. And he paid, in our monies today, over $38 million. Well, a prophet comes up to him and says, Do not hire those Israelites. God is not with the Israelites. And of course, the king was, well, What about the money? I just spent $38 million. The prophet assured him, God can provide you far more than that. Don't worry about the money. So the king sent the Israelites away, and sure enough, when they went into battle, trusting in the Lord alone, they had a sound victory. So can I encourage you today, don't rely on the comfort that you're living in. Don't rely on your finances. Rely on the Lord. Listen to the Lord and he will propel you to the next thing that he wants you to do. Don't fall into the trap of maybe throwing some money to this ministry or giving to your church and sitting back and think, that's all I need to do now. No, he wants you to get off the couch. He wants you to put your hands to the plow. He has something for you today. Don't sit in the comfort zone. Don't sit and just rely on that nest egg and think there's nothing else to do. I can live out my days. God has something special for you to do. I encourage you today, get up and do it. Find out what it is. Don't rely on the comfort of the day. Finish strong. Can you do that for me? That's what Dan Bryan and I are trying to do our best at setting an example for you. And uh, let's see if we can make it happen. God bless. Thanks so much for joining me for that morning cup of inspiration, and we'll see you next time.